Okay, this treasure hunt is so annoying. You can't even do it. It doesn't even load no matter what I do. But anyway, so this is the 2 Jet Z, the new Hot Wheels car in Forza Horizon 5. This was actually in Forza Horizon 4 with the Hot Wheels Legends DLC. However, I didn't actually make YouTube videos when that dropped. So I never made a video on this car. And besides, in Horizon 5, it actually has better upgrades. So let's redeem it right away with the Aventador J that I have over here. All right, so it should be under Hot Wheels along with my bonus shakers apparently i don't have a twin mill oh wait where is my twin mill oh that's right i sold it because well there's gonna be another another twin mill in the series anyways the hot wheels 2 jet z we got 640 horsepower 863 newton meters of torque that's not too bad and we only weigh 800 kilos this is actually very insane and all of this power is coming from a 2jz in the back of this thing that's why it's called the 2 jet z or the 2 jet z i'm gonna get so confused with engine names and this this car is named but uh, yeah, yeah it, it, it's powered by a Toyota Supra engine. This is kind of a lame engine though for, for the stock engine. This engine out is uh, a little bit weird. Uh, it's from an RB26, like an upgraded RB26 from the R33 and the R32 and stuff. But I mean, it is one of the engine notes that you get with this engine. Also, I'm just now realizing my game actually looks really weird. That's because I'm trying the new graphical setting. Where is it? The TAA, Temporal Anti-Aliasing. Right here, I've turned it on and it's set to 5. And also the rest, I'm just running kind of high stuff with some upgraded stuff. Anyways, I know for a fact that I actually tried it in the monthly rivals. This thing drives like absolute shit bone stock so i'm just gonna get straight into the festival we're just gonna get to customizing th this thing because it actually has some good upgrades this time around I'm not really gonna bother with an all-wheel drive build. I'm just gonna do some rear-wheel drive building and then I'm actually going to take it onto like a Hot Wheels event lab sort of thing. So yeah, we've got drift suspension. We we actually have drift suspension. We didn't actually have this back in Horizon 4. So that's one another reason why I never actually bothered with this car. But now we've got drift suspension. It actually looks sick. We've got some ARBs as well. We've got some upgraded brakes. They don't actually change, which is actually perfect. We can keep those uh, brake calipers. <coughs> All right, then we've got some clutch stuff. Yeah, we're keeping it rear wheel drive. We're also going to go for a drift transmission, which is a four speed. There, oh, where is it? All right, so we got a drift differential as well. Oh, it, is, it even says two jet Z right here. The two jet Z. Okay, so we have a roll cage, but it's actually already installed. So it doesn't change anything visually. Tire size, this is a, this is really, really big. So we got three 35s in the rear. That That's actually massive. Then we got three 15s in the front. Like, oh my God, that actually looks really interesting. Insane. And for tires, we're actually on semi slick, so I'm actually gonna keep it this way because I know for a fact this engine can build 1300 horsepower. Oh, and then we can convert it to all wheel drive. So, yeah, we're gonna keep it rear wheel drive, and yeah, we're gonna keep it on semi slicks. And now we just need to upgrade the thing. So, we got oh god, that's 300 horsepower from the turbos alone. We got 230 horsepower from the cams. Jesus Christ. Okay, oh Jesus Christ, it's S2 class. Oh god, yeah, so there we go. That's uh, that's 1300 horsepower. I do need to listen to the engine note. That, ah, those are some loud turbos. Okay, so the exhaust doesn't actually change much like the engine note, so I'm just gonna go for the upgraded exhaust, even though it sounds, it doesn't sound quite as great. 1300 horsepower, we weigh like, what, 800 kilos? That's, uh, that's like nothing. Oh god, it's really snappy. Oh my god, I think that's what a lightweight car does. I'm not actually sure what actually makes this so snappy. It's running the same amount of tow I usually run. But oh god, it's really snappy. Like, we weigh just under 800 kilos. That is so unbelievably light. Uh, I, okay, I wasn't even looking where I was going. And as far as I've heard from the racers, actually, in terms of racing, it's actually pretty good in S1 dirt, uh, at least as far as I've heard. Actually, I actually haven't tried it out, but maybe KPNPL can, like, hook you up with a, a nice little dirt tune for this thing. I would assume anyways. Oh my god, it's so snappy, you can't even be smooth with it. Jesus Christ. It's still actually very, very nice drive. It has plenty of power to go, like, around pretty much all of these, like, long sweeping turns and like these sharp corners oh my god it's 
It is snappy as hell. Okay, I'm definitely just gonna sh right off the bat just share this tune. It's actually a, a ready tune. Snappy. It's very, very snappy, this thing. It's actually at the very bottom of S2 class. It, it's pretty interesting. Well, it, it's a very snappy car. But if you practice enough with it, you'll definitely get the hang of this. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, you can just chuck it chuck it with the handbrake as well. I, I get even more snap out of this thing. Oh my god. It, it just goes. It just really wants to go. Okay, go for another one. Yep, there you go. It's got really grippy tires as well. I, I, it's very thick tires, so it gives it a, quite a lot of grip. It needs to accommodate the 1300 horsepower. That's why I'm not on drift tires, because drift tires actually kind of suck. Cause in terms of my recent discoveries, yeah, drift tires aren't actually all that fantastic. Yeah, this thing ain't too bad. Okay, now I do want to just give it a go it's probably gonna go very badly i'm probably gonna die okay so i know for a fact there's a very popular like hot wheels track that people have run a lot let me just find the share code for this thing oh here we go it's right here right here finally found it okay that took absolutely forever to find it but here's the share code i'm currently typing it in so apparently <coughs> <laughs> this is what it is. There you go. The Hot Wheels Tribute V4 Dino Knight by Ark Arc Arc. Oh, it's Arc Riders. There you go. That that's how it's pronounced. But yeah, let's just go solo, and we're gonna take the 2JZ. That's a little bit loud. There you go. Okay, now the thing is, I'm absolutely aware that I'm absolutely going to die during this because I'm 1300 horsepower and I'm rear wheel drive. That, that's not really built for something as insane as this. Oh my god, that actually looks insane. Anywho, though, I'm still gonna try my absolute best to actually go through all of this. Maybe even just drift it a bunch. I could totally just drift this thing. Okay, it's it's getting a lot of air time. Okay, let, let, let's just try to drift it. Um. Okay, maybe just good. Uh, don't go too hard, otherwise that'll happen. Oh my god, it's really difficult. I've had a problem. <laughs> okay, so drifting this Hot Wheels sort of track is definitely a good idea, but uh, it's not very practical. Otherwise, you're just gonna die. Or ex unless you actually stay on this like very flat surface, Th this actually works. Oh, this actually works. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 Just, just go down. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, uh, okay. We're just gonna go this way. Oh. Um. um. Oh. Oh. For the love of God. <laughs> okay. I guess I won't drift it, but I'll, I'll just do like. What the hell? What? Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, we could just drift. Okay, that was actually pretty sick. Also, I should probably mention this is my first ever time running this track. I've seen it a lot in like share code showcases. I've seen it in Hokey Hoshi's video too. I've seen it in AR12 video, but I've never actually run it myself. So this is actually very, very sick. But maybe it's not such a good idea to actually do it in a, a, a drift Hot Wheels car, but I like chaos. So why, why the hell not? Okay. Um, okay, I, I had a problem. We're just gonna turn that into a 360 and then just, um... That was, that was awful. Okay, this thing is really hard to handle. I, I'm having, I'm having a bunch of issues here. Uh, yeah, definitely don't drift Hot Wheels tracks like this. Oh, here we go. We finally have a flat piece of road where I can actually chuck it nicely. Oh my god, there you go. That was actually pretty sick. Oh, for the love of god. Oh, uh. Okay, this is, um, um, uh, I got, um... Okay, that's not what I meant to do. And then check a 360. Let's go. Okay, just check on the brake. Okay, that was that was that was kind of good. That was kind of good. That was kind of good. I actually know that was awful, but it, it, it was the best I could do. Okay, that um okay that didn't go particularly well. And yoink! Oh, that was sick. All right, check. Keep checking. Oh my god, that was actually really sick. Okay, okay, and I think that's just about enough of this Hot Wheels challenge that I can endure with the drift car. Good god, oh that's a really cool blueprint though. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a loud burp. Alright, so we have this whole Hot Wheels update, right? We got the 2JZ back in Horizon 5, and then in three weeks, we actually have the Nash Metropolitan coming back to Horizon 5 as well. I might build that into a drift car as well, we'll have to see. And as well as checking this Hot Wheels drift car on a Hot Wheels track, it's all in warming up for this thing. The Hot Wheels expansion itself, which actually releases in... Uh, I don't know, I actually, like, four to five weeks. Alright, so apparently I can actually view the trailer, but for now, in terms of currently Horizon 5, this right here is the 2 Jet Z. Okay, we again, a very snappy car, but it actually drives really, really well. But yeah, that is the 2 Jet Z in Forza Horizon 5.